Namaste everyone. Here is our Singapore 5 days in 5 minutes. In this episode, we are presenting how we planned and executed our 5 day Singapore trip. This ready-made 5 day itinerary save a lot of time for you. We promise. Most of the attractions here we mentioned are ticketed attractions. And point to notice traveling between destination can be done via MRT which is a kind of a metro train there and if you have a shortage of time then you can use a taxi using apps like Grab day 1 reach singapore in the early morning so that you can cover the changi airport attractions before you head to your hotel Changi Airport Attractions opens at 9.30 am in the morning. You can visit attractions like Rain Vortex, Canopy Bridge Walk, Canopy Park Walk uh, which will take around 4 hours and then you can actually head to your hotel, check in, do all those things and then you can actually uh, take big bus hop on hop of tour for uh, about uh, two three hours uh, from 2 pm onwards in the afternoon then you can uh, uh, go to a uh, marina bay you can walk around there and you can visit marlian park this will take around uh, two hours and after that you can have a dinner over there itself We reserved our day 2 to enjoy Universal Studios and Sentos Island. Universal Studios starts at 10 am and you can spend time there till 5 pm in the evening. Then hop on to the free electric train that is just beside the uh, Universal Studios and go to the Sentosa in the evening and enjoy your beautiful time in the beach over there. If you have a spare day then you can also spend one full day in Sentosa. Our day 3 was well spent on Singapore Zoo and River Wonders. You can spend your time from around from 9 am to 3 pm there. Then you can hop on to a nearest MRT and go to Little India and Chinatown. In the evening, these two places are very nice to explore. We had reserved our day 4 for shopping. You can visit Mustafa Center or any other budget shopping mall if you are into a budget shopping. In the afternoon, you can visit Arab Street and Haji Lane. We visited in the morning. That is not a very good time to visit uh, Arab Street and Haji Lane. On day 5, we spent our time in Gardens by the Bay, Art and Science Museum, Super Tree Observatory, Cloud Forest and Cloud Garden. If you plan well, definitely you can complete Singapore within 4 to 5 days. Singapore is a must visit country in your lifetime. It's a really really beautiful place. Thanks for watching.